So welcome to this episode of Rumble. And I have with me a young man who's an engineer, uh, studied to be an engineer, then went and actually worked in the company. And then he chucked up all that to do something that he's really interested in. So I let him to say, I let him say it in his own word. So welcome to the show, Vivekanan. Thank you, sir. Tell me, you you are an aero modeling, and yes. for most people, that's just a hobby. And now you've taken it one step beyond. How did that happen? Like uh, when I was working in this company, we are into oil and gas, and I was in the Gulf for a year or so, and it was a nice experience. It was a great experience as a projects guy. Okay. Came back then, I thought, let's pursue something on our own. Mm. Dream. I always wanted to make these things as a kid. Okay. College guy, but never had the opportunity, and I saw that there's a demand for this. I said, okay, let's. But how, how did you arrive at this conclusion that there's a demand for this? I mean, how did you? Like, did somebody uh, come up and ask you? Uh, no. Uh, sometimes you have to catch. Uh, okay. Like, intuitive. Uh, like intuitive, because you are seeing, you no, know, there's a dem- like the number of aeronautical engineering colleges. Colleges with aeronautic engineering are increasing now. Oh, they, uh, they're offering more and more colleges coming forward. Yeah. But have they trained staff to do all that? Um, or is it just learn what you can? Uh, like some of them, uh, like it's not the 100% staff are not trained. Okay. Uh, some staffs are. You know, mostly not in aeromodeling. Aeronautics, yes. It is? It is. Okay. So aeromodeling, very few colleges have trained staff actually. All right. So, so then uh, when you decide to take this up like a serious job, how did that happen? Uh, like it had to go through a lot of introspections and a lot of uh, you know uh, thinking and how I want to start with. Of course, the starting did not go as per my plans. Mm. So it was tough to start with. Then we were saying, you no, know, where should I go? How can I, you know, uh, where to go? I knew it was the schools where yeah. I should start. Then how am I actually going to go? Then we start, you no, know, we should go to schools which are not that because it was tough to enter the schools itself. Ah, uh, most headmasters and headmistresses yeah. would have, would wouldn't have they wouldn't have had any yeah. idea what yeah, it's all about. Exactly. Okay. So, so what we did was then we said, okay, let me take a free workshop to start with. Oh, that's so, clever. That's uh, how it works. Already the free. Yeah. So I went to, a, but I did not want to go to a normal, uh, fully functioning public. So I said, like, let me go to an aided school. At least let it be of some use when I even if I do it for free. Okay. Okay. Then I somehow got the press involved in it. All uh, this is in Coimbatore. No, in Chennai. Oh, in Chennai. In Chennai. Okay. So when we started, then I went to this uh, school in Tinaga Girls School, and we uh, approached them, and they were very happy. And we the girls' school—that's quite yeah. unusual. Or you didn't think that was anything unusual? Or just that you approached a girls' school? No, I wanted to approach a girls' school All right. because I want—I want to break a couple of uh, cliches, okay, no, what we, yeah, like a couple yeah. of assumptions. No, they like girls means yeah, something else. They'll do fashion designing yeah, or something yeah. like so that. I wanted to take. I want to in one thing. I wanted to break Bust that all. Myth. Exactly. So okay. I wanted to went to this girls' school. We had students from ninth to twelfth, some twenty-five students. These girls, and we trained them. At the end of the day, they had an amazing response. And the reporter from the news, he said, "Like, wow, this is amazing. Like, you're doing something really great. We never thought science could be so much fun." Okay. And the maths, like, no, amazing. The thing is, ask questions. We our main thing beyond our workshops is you no. Know, mm. It's not just about making that plane. Yeah, it's all about you no know, team spirit. Team mm. spirit, asking the questions, asking those questions which are deep inside your heart. Yes, right. That's more important. And and I guess most kids don't have anybody to ask at home. Exactly. As kids, we are like you know when we have all these questions when we are uh, two year or three year old, we are told when we don't know the answer, we said shut up. Yeah, that's how we are told. Your you know, teacher will tell you. Yeah. Either the parents or the teachers, anyone. Like, if you don't yeah. know the answer, either the, rather than accepting that I don't know, we say it's not required. You, uh, you don't need it right now. Yeah. You, you still need to grow up for this. Okay. So, we said, like, okay, like, what I tell my students, if you have asked... Was this a, as an outbreak of something that you personally experienced that when you were in college, you felt there wasn't in, enough interaction and exactly. not enough people asking in, yeah, questions? Yeah, because when I was doing in my college, like... I like I realize somewhere I have stopped asking questions. The exam comes, open the book, ratta maro, like mug up the entire thing, mm, go and write. But then mm. I decided when my second year, fourth semester, specifically, that I'm not going to do this anymore. I want to understand the subjects. Okay. And then it was wow, so much more fun. You learn so much more. You discuss. You just find two guys. I found two guys with whom I can do this. We found formed a team and we started studying. Okay. And as we went on, more students came with us. So it really and is, it, is it something that doesn't require any money? Uh, this particular hobby, hobby, aero modeling, 
or not a lot of money like aero modeling is perceived to be an expensive sport yes uh, as a sport uh, okay. but we want to as i said break all these myths and uh, we want to make it as a system where it can be affordable by all okay so that's what when uh, when we take workshops uh, which are like uh, at the minimum cost depending on the schools the small school be like there are a lot of workshops where we do it along with ngos and all those things oh okay um, so and the lot of you mean they'll be doing their own thing on the side and then you guys muck in and with your they model. ask us to you or like an ice breaker right? yeah you do one day for our kids okay no we do this for our kids for one day or two days and mm-hmm. we do that we go to schools for annual programs all kinds of schools right from the international schools to the government school i've done everything okay have, so we have a good team for that and what's the response been from teachers teachers like teachers who are there in a workshop they like How can I can I, can I get a job with you guys like, permanently? Yeah, they <laughs> asked me like, do you train teachers also? I was <laughs> I got this question from a very good school. Can I teach so, ABC through flight? <laughs> <laughs> and I can say yes. Now I like I tell them this behind every philosophy uh, formula or principle of science. Mm. There's a principle of life. Uh, well, yes, you're right. Yeah, like right from if you see uh, Newton's third law of motion, you ask this any time. every action has got an equal and opposite reaction that's what that's the child will say that's true but if you say in our normal p- parse what goes around comes around yes yes so there's it was not if you take the greatest of scientists are philosophers first yes it be einstein or the newton mm. or da vinci you know, they answered that. complex questions through science exactly rather than invent new things okay so now now that you are busy doing this uh, do you think that there's a scope to take it further into colleges or is you're still with schools no no uh, colleges uh, the students come to us for projects mm-hmm. so we are doing projects uh, in quad quad rotors uh, rc planes robotics uh, different different fields and we want to when i say colleges we want to promote go beyond just doing the project we want them to do it professionally you know, okay like you know where you have to plan your projects you have to schedule it you have to see all right so this is this is one of the things that he said let me not just teach them how to put a plane together but in the in, in the business of making these little models there far more greater lessons being imparted so he actually succeeded doing that in commercial establishments also or rather colleges 